Well, it's no secret anybody who's been following the legal saga of Donald Trump for any bit of time at this point understands that Donald Trump is suffering from having some of the worst lawyers in the country. And there's a reason for that. And that's because of course, as we've talked about several times now, no reputable lawyer is willing to take on Donald Trump as a client because one, they're not even sure they'd get paid by him, but more importantly, he can't be controlled and he is completely unpredictable. And it is that last point that is causing his legal team today so many headaches. According to a new report from the New York times, Donald Trump's legal team is struggling to come up with a unified message that they can use, of course, to defend him, not only publicly, but also in court. And the reason for that is because the story keeps changing and Donald Trump's version of events continues to change. And all of those things are changing in a way that of course is not flattering to Donald Trump himself. On top of that, several of the legal filings that Trump's attorneys have put forward have been sent back because they're incorrectly formatted. And in many times, as the New York times points out, they're worded like they are essentially campaign rallies, right? Like the speeches Trump would give at a campaign rally. That's kind of what is being put into these legal filings, which of course leads everybody to believe that Trump himself is dictating them to his legal team. And because they're too cowardly to push back and say, you know what, maybe let's not throw in the words, witch hunt and let's not talk about the 2020 election in a court filing that has nothing to do with the 2020 election. They don't do that. Instead, they're just like, oh yes, sir. We'll, we'll put it right in. Here we go. We're going to file it. And then of course, inevitably these things get sent back or either outright dismissed because the lawyers didn't present an actual legal argument. You know, that's actually what happened last week, by the way, in the filing, attempting to get the special master, which of course is now a moot point because the DOJ has already had their independent people go through all the documents and determine which ones were attorney client privilege. So the special master thing doesn't even matter anymore, but Trump's legal team files the motion with the judge and the judge comes back and says, Hey, um, there's no argument. Also, by the way, for the record, you formatted it incorrectly, so I can't even accept it. But more importantly, this Trump appointed judge said, you, you didn't make a case. Like you haven't explained anything. You kind of put forth an incorrectly formatted document that is, you know, as New York times says, a campaign rally speech, which, Hey, that's, that's great for you. But, uh, here in court, we actually have to have things a certain way. And if you can't point out your standing, if you can't talk about your grievances that are legitimate in the eyes of the law, I can't accept this. So that of course is the problem Trump is having today. And it doesn't help anything that he's constantly out there changing his story, his lawyers going out there on TV, saying some of the dumbest things imaginable. If this thing actually does end up with Trump getting indicted and going to trial, if these are the lawyers he's moving forward with, the dude is screwed and he's screwed because he's basically, um, I don't want to say blacklisted, but he's shut out all the good lawyers in this country because of his behavior. And again, his refusal to frequently pay people, whether it's lawyers, contractors, the people running truth, social, whatever it is, he's not paying bills. So no good lawyer is going to take it. And of course, we also had the recent reports about Jim trusty. That's actually a pretty good name for a lawyer, by the way, um, little too on the nose, but either way he picked him out cause he saw him on TV and thought, I like the way he looks and sounds. You can now work for me. That's, that's, that's not going to go over well, but I think at this point, the biggest problem facing Trump's legal teams, in addition to his mouth and the fact that they can't come up with a unified message is the fact that a lot of them seem more interested in getting their faces on TV than they do defending their client. Alina Haba all over the media, other attorneys for Donald Trump, both current and former all over the media out there, each one presenting a different message that might be good for your career personally, probably not, but maybe, but in terms of coming up with a unified defense for your client, 
you're all failing miserably. And I got to say, you love to see it, don't you folks? Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.